So this is the frame welded upside down. I wanted to show this to show a couple of things that we do that other people don't do that really helps to sturdy our frames up. Safe Wholesalers does not put this in at all. This is exactly on the front side, which I'll show you that shortly, is where the suspension goes. Um, they, we, we, two more bushing tubes and a quarter inch flat piece of steel to hold it. On the small ones and on the bigger ones, we actually add a, a channel on there to, uh, to lift it so it can get low enough for the frame. But I wanted to also show our welds because we don't, we do some really, like I said, I'm certified pipe welder and I'm really proud of uh, the welding that I've done. I've been welding for 21 years now, since 1998, going on 22 years. But you can see there's no junk. And on the front side, the reason why I showed you the bottom side is because to show you the welds, is because on the top side, they're grinded down flush for looks and you'll also notice that right here it's a three inch weld on both of these in the middle that's because when i flip it over there's going to be a three inch weld across the top here and three inch weld across the top there on both sides so it's 100 percent welded so it's not going to move nowhere but we do this it's like a stitch so the mere fact it doesn't warp it with too much heat and it makes it where it can't hinge. so this thing is extremely stout i mean i've never had a frame fail yet and we've had them do real heavy bikes no problem like i said this is a small one we have four sizes uh this is the small so this is 56 inches wide from tire to tire plus uh it's really short as you can see because on my fixture if i back out enough you can see how much room i have the, the long ones the, the big ones actually go right to the edge here uh and right there on the stops and go all the way out uh, and then we have the soft tail, which is this wide, but it's a little bit longer. It's about three inches longer than this is. And then we got the normal size. And the normal size um, goes on things like the Roadstar. So they're only 56 inches wide because you don't need them to be six inches wide. They're not super heavy, and, but they're longer. So they're actually the same length as our large ones. And then our large ones go on baggers or say ultra classics honda go wings etc real heavy bikes with a lot of that have bags and such and they are 60 inches wide from tire to tire and they're longer than this so uh we really got the frames down and know what we need and you'll see why when you see this little bike and this frame on the bike uh this size right here goes on like sportsters and scooters and this little boulevard right over here it'll be going on it as you can see It'll be sitting on this thing. This is not very big at all. That back end is really small, so you have to have a small frame. You don't want it to stick way out in the back end. But I'm going to flip it over and show you what the front side looks like and talk about it a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is our front side. And as you can see, we grind it flush. Now, that's why you got to have that bevel because this thing here, you can see there's no line at all. You want that to be 100% to be strong and not break. And then, like I said, this is where the axles go. You can see it's pre drilled holes I've done. And then they got three inches and three inch welds on the outsides of these things. So this makes this super sturdy. I mean, for a small frame, it's really, really sturdy. Uh, for the big frame that handles, you know, 12, 1400 pounds and no big deal. Uh, and you can see, like I said, this is just for looks. So when we powder coat, it looks real smooth and nice. It, uh, brings out the, the just a real nice look to it and you'll notice that safe auto cells won't do this They will grind this down a little bit and they put the stupid nasty looking uh, Expanded metal over that to try to hide all their nasty welds um, And it's just really ridiculous and that's the reason why I've had so many people bring them to me They've been broke before welds not be worth a darn and they're the frames twist see they don't do this We box this thing in so this right here just this little bit of add-on here with the two pipes going across and this quarter-inch metal sturdy this thing super up so it does not twist at all when you get a self uh, self wholesalers safe wholesalers one the outlaw kit uh they just put a bar in there and they actually just weld it directly on the one little bar and then it's it's just it, it every one i've had twists while we're trying to turn it so i have to put some some uh these in the sides to sturdy it up like i do this i don't take their thing out I just simply add a little little metal metal to try to square it out, make it sturdier, but it's still not quite as sturdy. And I've had customers come and they were like, man, I wish we, we just bought this one uh, instead of safe wholesalers. That's why I put the videos out. But, um, and this is, 
this is basically the frame and I'm going to, like I said, I'm on a video uh, when I put it on the bike and what it looks like. I'll put the wheels, put the suspension on it right now, shortly, put the tires on it, get it over there where the bike is so you can see what it looks like with the tires. Because everybody asks, well, what do these things look like by themselves? This is a basic one. Now, this here moves according to your bike. So Sportster's actually a little farther this way. This bike is... Uh, going to have some metal fenders so we scooted it up a little bit to make the tires where we wanted them so the fenders will land where they need to but uh that's the adjustable part everything else is pretty much the exact on every one of these little frames but like i said we will put the tires on this and get ready to show it with a rolling basically a rolling chassis for you okay i wanted to show you this these are torsion half axles so this is the suspension uh, before we get the tire on there and what you're going to notice is that these are independent this is a torsion half axle it's got rubber in there these are right 425 pounds total between the two so 212 pound 0.5 pounds resistant weight on each one now this does not let the bike lean it simply does what a car does this will go up and down when you hit bumps when your bike hits a bump and goes down this is a suspension so this is not a hardtail if you hook the straight axle to this it would make this bike a hardtail but it will not allow it to lean now just like a car if you turn a curve quick enough it might make it uh tilt but it will not let it lean like people ask me all the time do i lean like i do normal bike no you steer it it is like a normal trike when it comes to that so these are the torsion half axles and you can see um and you'll notice i put it on top these can be put either way but i put them on top because of the mere fact that if you put them underneath it pushes the whole thing up too high uh they use these on motorcycle trailers and small trailers uh, so that's see, so like i'm just showing you this side to show you that it's an independent suspension you can you can um it just goes up and down like this it's rubberized so it's not as as, as clanky or as stiff or as bumpy as the normal leaf spring ones this is a lot smoother that's the reason why everybody's going to rubber these are really nice they do a real good job so i wanted to show that before i put the tires on this show you that it is bolted up it does have a suspension it is independent suspension everybody asks me does this make it a hardtail does it have suspension yes it does torsion half axle so uh that's a big thing and these are adjustable for me so you can see right here that it's like a spleen and it's just like your shifter i take this bolt out i can move it up or down and then it will allow the tire the frame to move up or down to what i need but if you move it too much out of position to it to 12 o'clock then you have no suspension so i never move it up this way very much i usually uh try to keep it right here if i have to I can move it one or two degrees but that's it uh we don't want it to be a rough ride for you so that's it without the tires and we're going to show you with the tires one second now this here is with the tires on it where i want it to be as you can see she's level and i leveled the bike and then this is what it's going to look like and uh, they want a cheap rims tire so they bought their own you can buy some cheap rims tires if you want to buy them from us that this is from uh roll king 99.99 so 200 dollars with the tires uh they're not as good they're rounded like you know cheap trailer tires and they're thin these are the kind that we buy like i've just got a chrome set sitting right here and you can see that it's a lot wider and it's flat smooth the most touch the ground but it doesn't matter and i would say this if you buy these right here they are not balanced so uh i would get them balanced but you can bring those to save yourself some money and uh like this gentleman did he just didn't just wanted the 1700 dollars and then uh 300 dollars for metal fenders um and then that was it nothing nothing extra nothing big and bad and then he bought the rims and tires and i told him to go to go to roll king is what you did and like i said you can see price tags 99.99 uh they'll work but uh just letting you know that since we've shown these with the white ones on there he's also going to paint everything he's, he's not going to get it powder coated so he'll be picking this up 
uh, probably this weekend, just bare metal, take it home and do all the rest that he wants to get done to it. But this is what it looks like. And of course, there's no brackets yet. And what, what I'm gonna do is I'll finish this bike out. I'll figure out where I'm gonna bracket it. And then as I look at it, you know, I've got an idea as where I'm gonna bracket it. And then when I get done, I'll show you the brackets and then I'll have the metal fenders on it. And you'll see the dent done product. Now this one here will be wider looking because there's no saddlebags. So I've done several of these that they didn't have saddlebags and uh, they look like this, you know, and some people go get saddlebags and other people say, ah, it's good enough. Uh, that's a personal preference, but, um, but it'll, it'll look like this and we'll get it all set up. Like I said, I'll do one last little bit on this video to show it done, bracketed on there so you can understand. So now, you know, I get a lot of people, can I see just the frame? Well, now you've seen the frame. Can I, can I see it detached? Can I see this? Can I see that? I have broke it down from the very beginning. You've seen it was just metal tubes, then cut, then welded together, put on the table where I put my independent suspension at, the independent suspension. This one here is getting metal fenders and it will be bracketed up. And as you can see, there's no brackets, but I, I'll figure out one more bracket it too and I'll bracket it up and it'll just bolt up. And it'll end up being four bolts that holds this rear end on. You can pull it off and pull the brackets off and booyah. Less than I've got a video of seven minutes to take these things done off when I'm done. This is the reason why I do have to have your bike here because we built it basically off the bike you know this is the same on all of them but the brackets come i need a bike here so i can level it make sure not every bike's the same some been laid over a little twisted whatever and i've got to deal with it so uh you do have to bring your bike to me but i'm just showing this off like i said Dave moss bsc trikes will show the end of it in a minute um once i get it done and then i'll uh, you know get this posted and let you guys see it and give me some comments what you think etc etc and uh you know I, I think it's gonna i think this should give you all the information that you need as far as it goes on on how these are put on and how we build them from the ground up so this is not like i said a japanese or chinese or anything else uh pre-done kit i'm a certified pipe welder i weld everything up we do everything by hand and uh they're really starting really good so uh like i said we'll show you in one minute what it looks like with this built on and done